Hi Raiders, readers, and gamers, I'm Christy Stratus, and today we are continuing with American McGee's Alice. So, let's get into this game. I believe that we are pretty much out of the tutorial section now, and we are going to be starting with some real action, so it's pretty exciting. Today, I was thinking our topic could be talking about the different iterations of Alice and of all different kinds of things, but really Alice in particular, because Alice in Wonderland has really had quite a lot of iterations. It has lasted since the Victorian era. People still publish all kinds of new tales around it and sort of like the background of it. And there are so many unusual takes on it. I think it's fantastic. And so for me personally, she's going to go on a little ride here and I'm just going to talk to you. For me personally, I think that something has to be very special once you have a story that's been told and retold, it's got to be really special for me to be interested in the book. That's me personally, whether you are telling a new iteration of the same story or whether you're doing something like this game, which takes place after the story, it had better bring either like a new light or a new perspective or something unusual about it. So that's my perspective, but I wanted to tell you about how many different versions there are. And I, I want to hear what do you guys like about having something classic like, oh, wow, hi, you're very close there, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, having different um, versions of something, like, for example, Little Mermaid was a Hans Christian Andersen tale or originally. It was pretty, you no, know, it was extremely dark. It was nothing like the current one. And then you have, um, but, you know, at the same time, that has not been redone and redone and redone and redone quite like Alice in Wonderland, at least not that I have seen. We just picked up a new weapon. 52 pickup is a staple of juvenile humor, but when the deck slices and dices, it's no laughing matter. You are correct. So we now have a new weapon, and uh, let's see. Here we go. See, that's a card that I'm throwing there, and those are very painful to the other cards that I will be fighting, and you'll see that here in a minute. I'm going to use it. They stay back pretty far sometimes with the cards. They sort of stop moving in their tracks a little bit, which is silly because it just lets me defeat them. Um, that blue dot lets me know like that's going around them that you can see when I can hit them. So if they're out of range, they won't have that blue. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, aren't you clever? You're a very clever man running away from me. Clever card. He's like literally hiding. He's literally hiding from me. Fine, I'll get more cards. We'll see. You won't have much to say about it in just a moment. Why are you so smart? You're not supposed to be this smart. <laughs> Look at him running away. Oh my god. This is literally something I've never seen before, guys. Wow. <laughs> they never run away. They always come at you and... <laughs> wow, that was unusual. Okay. Anyway, you're here for American McGee Alice history. Um, as I'm collecting this health, you can see on the right that my cards are being replenished. When that blue bar runs out, I run out of cards. And the key is right here. So anyway, Alice in Wonderland is something that... Oh, you're jumping, girl. You're not a good jumper. Okay, please do what I say. There we go. Um, Alice in Wonderland has so many iterations, so I want to tell you about a few of them. Some of them that I like, some of them that personally I don't consider that fantastic, and I, I would really like to know your opinion on the matter. Um, even if it doesn't have to do with Alice in Wonderland, let me know what you think. What does it take for you to like a new iteration of something that has been done before. Or even done many times before. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god, I didn't know you were there. Oh, yeah. Let me just murder this guy. <laughs> Excuse me while I kill this guy. Not kiss him, but kill him. Not the greatest dodger either. Ow. Please die. I don't want you to be alive anymore. They don't seem to understand. See, I'm gonna aim my blue dot. Okay, so I threw my knife and killed him there. Let's hope I can do the same here. Oh, thank you. Okay, anyway. <laughs> How rude of them to interrupt my gaming. Gosh. Okay, so, um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this book. Have you ever heard of the book Go Ask Alice? This is, oh my god, ineptitude 100%. Okay, let me, let me concentrate. Apparently this is too difficult for me. So let me see if I can concentrate on getting on this rope. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit higher. I'm going to swing back and forth on it. And hopefully I can just jump off it like a normal human being. There we go. <laughs> and do it right. <laughs> okay, 
Go Ask Alice is a book that I believe, now I forget, because I read this when I was... You have the key. Very resourceful. I'll continue in a minute. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? I like how she doesn't care at all. <laughs> She's just like, what about me? Um, so anyway, go ask Alice. I believe that this was... I read it like towards the beginning of college, maybe even earlier, and it is essentially the story of this girl who gets into drugs. Um, I don't really remember how she gets into it, but it's essentially like, quote, the rabbit hole, end quote, of drugs. And it's a very unusual... I thought it was an unusual tale at the time. I had never read anything like it. I really loved it. It was a fast read. And it's, you know, it's it doesn't quite work off of Alice in Wonderland in the same way, but it is sort of, you know, she she goes down this dark hole of drugs not knowing what to expect and finding all these different sort of I, I would even say like go as far as to say playmates in a way and like games as far as like how she's you know using these drugs and the things she's getting into and stuff so like that's one type very dark you know type of iteration of Alice in Wonderland but it's like not exact of course it's pretty different it's in the modern world so the other thing I've noticed is that there are a lot of steampunk versions and zombie versions and there are a few modern world versions where they're taking either taking Alice in Wonderland and not changing anything I mean as in taking the original story and just changing it to be steampunk as if they just throw in a bunch of different machines which for me is I didn't like that when I tried to read it not a fan at all same kind of thing with the zombie thing I'm not a huge fan of zombie stuff to begin with, so you can't go by me for whether the zombie Alice in Wonderland versions are great or not. But when they have... There's a oh, school a inside the fortress where you'll find certain items for creating a concoction that will make you small. What items exactly? Did you notice how he spelled school when he spoke with a K? This is no good. This is unacceptable. Items. Items, girl. You'll know them when you see them. Uh, speaking of seeing things, we should avoid the card guard's notice. Hang on. Ah, damn it. We've been seen. Eventually, you must break through such walls, but for now, jump! <laughs> jump. I break my leg. Oh no. Oh. Um, that. That is... So schools are run by children's intestines. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking that these are the kids that fail out and they just take their intestines and run the school with them. That, yeah, that's definitely how it works. I've always wanted to read a modern day version of Alice in Wonderland and I ha just haven't done it yet but there are versions, I think there are plenty of versions out there so that's one thing that I would really like to try um, sounds really good to me personally I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna try and do this could be a huge mistake Let's see. Um, so that's one thing I want to read, I did notice that last year someone published, and I believe it was under a major publishing company too um, some kind of, it was like Alice's friend comes and looks for her and finds out that she's in Wonderland. So the friend goes into Wonderland too and tries to find her. And I sort of, for me, that didn't show any interest, like nothing new, nothing different. Um, would you guys read a book like that? That's all it says, like on the blurb. And so I didn't think that sounded any too interesting. But I would love to hear your opinion about this. Oh, this is about to get ugly. Excuse me while I try to murder him. Very frightening thing. Look at this thing. Die, 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 die. Oh, oh. Well, that's good because she's usually really, really difficult, so... Oh, but then again, I'm playing on easy, so... Oh, my God. Well, that was a close one. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Um, 
So personally, when I hear something like that, it doesn't sound any too fantastic. Um, however, you know, we all have dis different tastes, and that's what's so great about doing different iterations of something that already exists. And we're all inspired by different things as well. So let me know your opinion. Another thing that sounded really interesting to me sounded really interesting to me was there is some kind of book that's like a backstory of the Queen of Hearts, which I don't know if you guys are into the whole trend of telling backstories or not. I think sometimes they can be really amazing and super successful. They can tell like a backstory that you would never guess at or backstory of someone you never really thought about. And I think that's especially cool. I would definitely read the Queen of Hearts background story, although I would be really, really skeptical. And I would definitely be reading it like ready to criticize it, you know, because Alice in Wonderland is just such a classic and so popular. So. I have actually been reading Alice in Wonderland, rereading it, uh, on Serial Reader. This is a relatively new app that seems to be super popular right now. Have you tried Serial Reader? What do you think of it? The, for those of you who haven't tried it yet, it's a free app. Uh, I know it's on iPhone. I think it might also be on Android. But you can read the classics. Uh, short. It delivers like short, bite-sized bits of these classic books. Um, this one is a children, you know, like a, a a shorter book, of course. But they have short stories. They have um, really long books, like Anna Karenina, um, things like that. And it delivers you bite-sized pieces of the book, sort of, so that you can get through it more easily, have an easier time going through it, or maybe even save yourself some time by only reading that amount, and then you can move on to whatever other book you're also reading. So I think it helps to you to like spend your time maybe. I don't really want to say wisely, but like if there's a classic you want to read and you're dying to read it, read it but it's like a million pages long and you're not sure if you should really um, spend that much time on it, I think that this is a really good way to do it. And so I'm planning on reading a few books that way. There are a few books like, oh my god, this guy snuck up on me. Why don't you make noises? You guys need to make some noise. Okay, well we know he's there. This is a really cool thing. Time to raise some havoc. The dogs of war are loose. This is like berserker mode in Doom, only it does a lot more. So I believe that if I attack somebody, it's gonna hurt a lot. I'm pretty sure it's like one shot. Where'd you go? Don't run away from me. I want to kill you. So let me bring up my knife. Yeah, it's like one one shot. When I'm killing them. It's a really useful thing. Um, it's actually better than the Berserk mode in Doom, Doom 2 at least. I don't know what the new versions have. I like it. I want to hold on to it. <laughs> I wish I could be in this mode the whole time. It's pretty cool. Um, great idea by the creators. There is not a whole lot in this room, and I just, I just know that. So I'm going to move on. Might be over here? Or is this where I came from? Yeah, this is where I came from. So, um, anyway, I'm reading Alice in Wonderland that way, and I think it's working out really well, because then I can still read more, like, you can actually time when these things come in. Um, you can say, oh, I want my new, um, I want my new, uh, oh, is this backwards again? No. I want my new, not edition, but, like, bite-sized piece of reading delivered to me at, like, 9 a.m. every day, you know, and it, and it does that for you. Um, that's what I will I do 9 a.m. every day and so right now I, I have Alice in Wonderland and the yellow wallpaper which is something I've wanted to read for a very very long time I knew there was something in here oh oops <laughs> that tone I have to remember because I'm gonna have to do a little puzzle here this might be our first little puzzle this is a frustrating one Oh, oh my god, she's still here. Oh my god, why are you still here? I thought I left you. I thought I left you here. I'm shooting you, I'm shooting you. You just you don't want to do this. I'm Alice in Wonderland. Go away. Now where'd she go? And I'm out of cards. That means I gotta throw the knife. Great. Gosh. See, the difficult part about this is that... Oh my god, get away from me. I don't like you. She's killing me too. She really is killing me. She's actually killing me. Oh, there she is. The proper <laughs> order of things is often a mystery to me. You too? 
She is going to own me. Ugh. I almost died. Guys, this is the beginning. <laughs> I almost just died from that. This part is annoying because you always think, Oh, I'm supposed to press spacebar. I'm supposed to press this, that, and the other. It's actually enter you're supposed to press, and it doesn't tell you that. So I just have to pull these in the order. Listen. Okay, well, I already pulled it wrong. Let's see. Ah, that one goes first. Okay. Um, I have to reset it now, so it's one... Reset it. I really like the serial reader app so far, but I'm gonna see how it works out when I get to something a lot longer. Yes, I know, I know. I know. Uh, when we get to something a little bit longer, I can't decide what I want my first very long piece to be, but I do have trouble getting through very long, even though I love classic literature, I have so much trouble getting through. Oh, great, what I said. One, three, two, right? Um, getting through very long pieces. And sometimes it's because of the language. For example, you know, if I was to read Jane Eyre, it takes me time to get through that. And yet I can read Shakespeare, like a new Shakespeare that I just haven't read before. Um, I can read that, like, <laughs> as if it's today's language. I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, so if you have any suggestions with uh, what classic piece I should start with, leave them in the comments, but especially leave your comments about different iterations of Alice and classic literature in general, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm going to stop for now to keep this relatively short. I'm going to throw this at that guy. Yeah, I can't get it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm going to post these once a week and have a different subject of conversation for you having to do with reading or writing every single week. So thank you so much for joining me and for spending some time with me. I'll see you again next week.